Our next panel was going to be our first panel. It's entitled, What is VFX? Apart from the start to a really strong password. Um, and uh, to host it, we have a man who spent 25 years in the industry. He's created dinosaurs, magic, spaceships, you name it. Uh, let me introduce the Chief Technical Officer of Escape Technology, Lee Disco Danskin. I better be good, didn't I? Now I've been late, so I'll try. Um, so my name's Lee Danskin. Yes, I've been doing it 25 years. Um, previous to this, I used to work at Escape Studios, for all the Escape Studio type people that are knocking around. I was there for uh, five years. And uh, I was training development director there. That was just after I left the Moving Picture Company. I was deputy head of 3D at the Moving Picture Company for five years. Uh, previous to that, I had my own company, Smoke and Mirrors 3D. Um, previous to that, I worked at VTR, the film factory. And previous to that, God, it sounds boring. I was at Alias Research, who developed Maya. And I was on the beta team for Maya. So I actually helped develop Maya from day one. So, and before that, I was even more CG, but before university courses even existed in that sort of frame of mind. So that's who I am. Uh, Escape Technology split from Escape Studios about two years ago. What do we do? We uh, basically take care of all of the facilities around town. We sell them software. We sell them hardware. Um, we sell them services. So we've been working recently with a company called Vine. And we've been doing all of their pipeline work on the latest series of Atlantis. So obviously, again, Still very current in the industry, checking out what's going on. So, oh, there, there. another slide. There's two slides. So I was expecting loads of grads, so there might be some uh, hiccups in the old slides today because I've just done a big refresh. Because you're all uh, A-level guys, is that about right? Do I get nods or, yeah? I prefer a discussion, chaps. Let's get this straight from number one. If anyone wants to shout a question out, feel free. I won't abuse or uh, attack you in any way, shape, or form. I prefer a discussion rather than me stand up here and pontificate and you get bored. Um, so this is my disclaimer. I always put this in here because sometimes it sounds like I'm being negative, but I'm not being negative about the industry. I'm being realistic. All right? And there's always exceptions. So when I say something, you'll be sitting there going, yeah, but I know of something where that's been used on this, that, and the other. There's always an exception, OK, every time. So, I'm definitely not trying to teach you to suck eggs, okay? That's my first, foremost part of this whole process, all right? And it's nothing to do with what actually you think. So I'm not going to teach you about modeling, camera tracking, and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, you're sort of getting that from your tutors in some shape or form. What I am going to do is give you, hopefully, some VFX industry awareness. I've thrown a little bit of other stuff in there as well, a bit of games. Um, and, and this is where I come onto my first straw poll. So this is where I ask you lot to start putting your hands up because I like to ask questions. So out of the audience, just as a, a brief one, film or games? Film first. Hands up if it's film for you guys. Ooh. Hands down. Who's games? Oh, you saddos. Right, OK. <laughs> uh, other? Oh, I've, got an, I've got another over there. OK, fine. OK. So let's generalize it a little bit more. 3D or 2D? 3D first. OK. 2D? Everybody else? Yeah. OK, fair enough. So a good mix. OK. Um, just out of interest, uh, who does photography in the room? Ooh. Oh, there's a little bit of a, like, two or three hands went up. Hmm, OK, that's interesting. Um, who does uh, life drawing? Not many. Right, OK. So all the games dudes are just like, I've got to build a car. OK, <laughs> all right. Don't worry, I'll only take the mickey a little bit. So this is what I get a lot of people going, I want to become an animator. I really want to be an animator. I want to be an animator. And it's like, what is that exactly? What is an animator? Because I don't know. I've never heard of an animator, really. Not in the style of you guys think it is. What's it like? Where's this animation going on then? Where's that, where's that happening? What is it? How do I get into it? How do I do it? They're all sort of interesting questions. 
It's a very, very overused word in my humble opinion, because everybody in our industry goes, oh, I'm an animator. I'm like, oh yeah, really? Okay. Uh, it's applied to loads of positions and leads to a lot of confusion. And I normally get asked that question. Yeah? How do I get a job in 3D? It's a really hard interest industry to get into. And that's the first question I get to, and I go, well, that's good, because there's no such thing as the 3D industry. Never heard of it. Nor the 2D industry. Never heard of that either. What I have heard of is those industries. They're industries. They're very, very interesting industries. And they all use a combination of 2D and 3D. Okay? Very much. But let's just check something. So I did, you know, what is VFX? I've got to do a talk on box VFX. Google is bound to be the answer. <laughs> Wikipedia. So you can read that for yourselves, you know. And the big line there is visual effects involve the integration of live action footage and general imagery to create environments which look realistic. That is the definition of VFX, okay? It's not any of them. Okay? So you're all now saying, why the hell is he talking about? I thought this was about VFX. Well, it is. It will be. Why is all that important? So I'm now going to shoot myself in the foot because the guy from Pixamondo was on before me, wasn't he? And he runs a Windows pipeline. So that's not going to help me when I touch to the next slide. So all these companies here have a certain tool set and workflow. Their tool sets and workflows are all based on Linux. Who's the Apple fanboys? Something like that. Oh, come on. If I have to. Short arm syndrome. Who's the Windows boys? <laughs> Windows. <laughs> Linux geek. Okay, I love Linux. I don't pay for it and do what I like with it, and nobody can tell me off. It's great. Right? Linux, it's the way forward, right? Hence, I was Pixmondo. Primarily, they've got a bit of Windows and a bit of Linux, a bit of both. So, and like I said, exceptions are everywhere, right? So this is a generalize. So if I just nip back one slide, all of those companies there have their main pipeline on Linux. So when you're sitting at home going, ah, oh, it's great, my quick time on my Apple's really good, yeah? It's really not gonna be very much use if you wanna work in any of these locations. So I've got a load of you of games, and loads of you of VFX, so apologies for that. But they're primary, primarily all Linux. Yeah? That's their main production pipeline. If I say pipeline, what do you all think? Is, is that voodoo or is that, yes, pipeline, I understand it. No pipeline, I don't. No one. All right, so. <laughs> so double check. That's not VFX. That's why I get worried when people say, I want to be an animator. I go, that's great. Do you want to animate all day, every day? And that's all you ever do? Well, you need to work somewhere like that and do films like that because that's what an animator does. That is not VFX, okay? So if in your head, I want to work at somewhere like Pixar, DreamWorks, or Blue Sky, then you guys really need to have a little think about where you live, okay? Ardman and Framestore are the only two companies that have ever tried to do feature animation in the UK semi-successfully, okay? So tool sets. That's a horrible big slide, isn't it? So at the top there, you can see film, Linux. That's what it says. How well does 3ds Max run on Linux? Hmm. Okay. Doesn't really run too well on Linux, does it? So that's what dictates these pipelines, okay? I'm not saying that one's better than the other. I don't really care anymore, all right? I'm a Maya master, 2007. I've been doing it too long. The vertex is a vertex is a vertex. Pixels are pixels are pixels, yeah? It's just the application you're using, all right? But if you do want to work in a film company, you can see right across the top there that there's not much notice of After Effects, Premiere, or 3ds Max. Okay? Yes, you will find it in their company. Is it in their main pipeline? No. Okay? Next one down. Commercials. 